Welcome, everyone. In this video, I am going to go through the steps to register for NJDEP online. So the first step is to navigate to the DEP's main webpage. That's found at www.state.nj.us slash DEP. Once you're on the page, scroll down. On the left-hand side, you'll be, see a bunch of uh, tabs. The first one underneath Information Tools says DEP Online. So go ahead and click on that. The page it brings you to has a lot of information on it, but all we're going to be concerned with is the New User section on the right-hand side. In that box, go ahead and click on the Request Access to NJDEP Online link. going to ask you for some basic information on the next screen. Uh, it's going to want to know your contact name, your organization name, and your email address. So go ahead and enter that and then confirm your email address. Once that's filled out, on the right-hand side, click on the Request button. The next page is going to link your NJDEP Online account to a My New Jersey account. If you have an existing My New Jersey account, you will fill out Section A with your logon ID and password for My New Jersey, and then click on the button that says Link NJDEP online to my account. If you do not have a My New Jersey account, you're going to use Section B. First, you're going to pick a logon ID and password, and then a security question and answer. So I'll go ahead and fill that out now. Once that's completed, at the bottom of that section, there's a button that says create this new My New Jersey account and link NJDEP online to it. So go ahead and click that button. The next screen that comes up is a contact information screen. Uh, it'll have some of the information already filled out. You need to complete all of the information that has the asterisk next to it. That is the required information. Uh, you can also include other information, such as title and organization name. Um, that'll be helpful later on when you're filling out applications. But for now, we're just going to fill out the required information. Also required is a contact number. To add a number, simply click on the Add Contact Number button. It's going to ask you for a contact number type and then the phone number. Uh, make sure when you're filling out the phone number that you do not include the hyphens, just a straight number. Once that's completed, click on the Save button. And you'll see that the contact number has been added to the information. From there, simply click on the Continue button. The next screen is going to ask you to select and answer five security questions. These questions are going to be used later on during the application process. So go through and select five questions and make sure you record what your answers are because you'll need them later.
Once you've completed those questions and answers, simply click on the continue button. The next screen is going to have you create a certification pin. Your certification pin is used when electronically certifying applications in the system. Your certification pin, if you look at the note here, must include, must be eight to 40 characters in length and must include at least two of the character groups listed here. So go ahead and create a certification pin. Once you've completed, hit continue. That will bring you into the service selection screen. From here, you can click on any of these boxes to add the services you would like to have in your My Workspace section. Once you've selected all the services you require, simply click on, scroll down to the bottom and click on the OK button. And that will bring you into the My Workspace page. And you have successfully registered for NJDP Online. Uh, please view the other videos to see how to use the different services, and thank you.